so hi guys in the previous video we have seen how we can create a project using expo so in today's video we are going to create a new project using react native cli you can see the setup of react native cli in the documentation um, so let's just start by creating a new application using the command npx react native in it and then our application name so today we are going to create a chat app so let's name it as uh, awesome chat app so now we have opened our project in visual code so this project structure is different from expo it has this android and ios folders that will contain the respective files according to the platform and sometimes we need to go to that folders and uh, uh, change some data in the file so that our libraries or something else work with this android and ios and expo give us this thing out of the box so we do not have to uh, do that thing so it do not have android and ios folder also and we have some more configuration like eslint rc pretty rc.json and we have this index.json file which will load our app.js from here so first thing what we are going to do we are going to create a source folder that will contain all our javascript code that, uh, that we are writing by our hand and we are going to move this app.js to this source folder and we are going to change the path it, this path is already modified just now as you can see in index.js otherwise you can just modify this path as source slash app.json in index file and now we can close this and let's just go to app.js and remove all of this code from here and start by writing our hello world screen from uh, hello world screen so let's just skip that part so now we have created our basic hello world screen and let's just start our server using yarn start and after starting the server we need to run it in android so we will use yarn android so that it would run in our android emulator and if you have some physical device connected that it will directly run that application into your physical device so our app is now successfully built and running so let's just start with some configuration of eslint and prettier if you do not want to use eslint and prettier then you can just skip this step and if you want to know more about uh, this linter and prettier then you, you can watch my previous video i will put that link in the description so let's just stop this uh, metro server and add uh, and initialize our eslint file using npx eslint minus minus in it so now we are going to install prettier and yeslint config prettier to turn off the prettier rules of yeslint so now let's just open this eslint rc.js file and add prettier at the end here and let's just save this file and now we are done with configuration and it's time to write some script so that this prettier and linter will run so now we have created this two script if you want to run linter or prettier then you can run using yarn linter and yarn prettier so let's just start by creating our app in firebase so you need to go to this firebase console and click on this go to console button and create a new project from here so let's name it awesome chat app and click on this continue button and so let's wait till it completes uh, creating our project so now our project has been created and we are in the dashboard of this project so let's just uh, enable this project for our android application by going to this now we need the android package name so if you go to vs code and write package equal to in this uh, search bar then you will have this package name so just copy this package name from here and paste it here 
and let's just give some uh, nickname it is optional so we'll give it a name and we need a sha1 of our application so what we are going to do just go to terminal and go to this android folder and run this command so it will generate a signing report of our uh, application and we will copy the sha1 from there and we will paste it from here paste it in our firebase so you need to copy the sha1 of this debug android test so let's just copy it from here and paste it here and register our app so now our app has been registered and we can download it google service.json file from here and we can just cut it from here and go to our awesome chat applications android folder and then in app we can just uh, put it here and now click on this next button and just copy this line class path from here and put it in the uh, build out gradle and save this file and now copy this uh, apply plugin from here and just go to android then app and then build out gradle file and just copy that uh, line here and save this file also so let's just press next here and go to console so now we are done with uh, the firebase setup for our android application and now we are going to set up a firestore for our uh, project so click on that uh, and it will take you to the fire store database and just click on this create database and start with another test mode and click on next and with the default setting click on enable so it will enable your uh, uh, storage that would be no sql storage so now our database has been created let's just start by creating a collection of users so we'll give a collection id as user and we'll start by writing our first user as user1 and we'll give it a name field and a, a edge field so now our user collection has been created and it has a document that contains a name and address of second 22 so now our work on firebase has been completed we just need to go to our vs code and start coding there so as we can see more than 90 percent of the viewers have not subscribed to the channel so let's just take a break of two to three seconds and just like and subscribe to the channel if you like the content so for using firebase in our application we need to install its core package that is react native firebase slash app so you can install it using yarn or and after that do not follow to rebuild your application using yarn android so for using firestore we need to install firestore module from react native firebase so you can install it using yarn at react native firebase slash firebase so now for using firestore we need to import it and for retrieving our data what we can do firestore we will call to firestore then our collection and our collection name was users as you remember and then we have a documentation there with the name uh, user1 so it will give us some data it will return us a promise so we are calling this get method so it will return us some promise uh, that we will get the data in this dot then function and we will have some data here and what we are going to do is this data we are just going to print it in our console so 
so let's just save this thing and try to rerun this so we'll just close our app and open it again and open our console here so it is giving it is printing this data from here that would contain a underscore data property that is containing our name and ages abhishek and uh, there are some other data also which we do not need for now so let's just print data dot underscore data from here so it will print only our age and name as abhishek patil so now what we can do we can use this data to be displayed on our screen so for that what we are going to do we are going to create a constant user data and set user data and we are using use state hook from react and let's just give it a default value as uh, mm, let's say hello world hello abhishek or let's just say subscribe to spider monkey and and let's just use this user data here okay so now this value will contain subscribe to spider monkey and now we are going to change this value whenever we uh, get this data so instead of console.log what <coughs> we are going to do we are using set user data and we are passing our data dot underscore data here but it will give us a error because it is a json uh, like for json formex format so we need to stringify it so we will just do json dot stringify and we will have our data uh, dot underscore data here because the this text container will only uh, accept uh, uh, strings so let's just save this thing and reload our application so now <coughs> you can see we are having this data here so now the subscribe to spider monkey has been replaced with this data but this will face the data only once what if we want to get our data uh, like whenever the data changes in the firebase so for that what we are going to use we are going to use on snapshot uh, method instead of this get method so what this uh, on snapshot method will do it will give us a listener to our database and we need to remove that listener when our component uh, unmounts also otherwise there will be a lot of thread going on on the background so that is not optimal so for doing that what we are going to use we are going to use our use state hook, hook use effect hook from uh, react and it will run only on the first time when our component renders because we have given our empty array from here and now we can now what we can do we can call this we can let just delete this from here and copy this here and paste it here so so on a snapshot the first argument would be a function that uh, and this method will give uh, the argument to that function as the data we are receiving so we are receiving a data here and what we want to do with this data we are going to show it in our text so we are calling set user data from here and we are going to stringify it and set our data to data dot underscore data so uh, now this listen has been completed and it will return a object that would be used to remove that listener from there so <coughs> let's say it is returning an object named unsubscribe and now we are going to use this unsubscribe object to remove this uh, uh, 
listener of when the component unmounts so for component unmounts we have this return function in use state so it will be called when the component will unmount from our screen and in this method we are calling this unsubscribe method so let's just save all those things and see if it is working or not and let's just reopen our application so now we are getting data from firebase correctly and now we have to see if it is updating uh, like real time or not so now we are in our firebase console and we are in our project in firebase database so now we can update this data from here and let's see it is working or not so let's just delete this surname from there and update this so yeah it would be updated automatically so that is all for this part of uh, chat application uh, we have seen how we can read the data from uh, firestore and if you have any doubt while setting up firebase or anything you can write it in the comment section i will reply to all of them and the further videos will be coming soon so uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you in the next video